Hey everyone, Teo here. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on how I sketch this street scene using the app Concepts, which is available on the iPad, Android, and Windows. And I sketched this on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So this video is actually the condensed version of a full-length tutorial that I have created for my patrons and also on Skillshare. So if you want to support my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon or Skillshare. The full tutorial covers more information on perspective, simplification, drawing techniques, and urban sketching tips. For this sketch, I'm using the soft pencil brush, which is my favorite brush in concepts because of the textured lines that it can create. So I marked out the vanishing point for this one point perspective scene first, and I drew the diagonal lines to the vanishing point. It is much easier to draw the diagonal lines accurately when you know where the vanishing point is compared to measuring those diagonal lines from observation because some of the diagonal lines, especially those at the top of the buildings or the lines that are almost vertical, but are not vertical. Those lines are quite challenging to measure. So once you have the vanishing point, you can just draw the diagonal lines to the vanishing point. One challenging aspect of this scene is the compressed perspective. Because the walls are compressed, you have to pay special attention to make sure the distance between the buildings are accurate. So when you're drawing, you shouldn't think of you drawing the buildings. You should be thinking of the distance between the vertical lines. And once you draw the vertical lines and the big shapes of the buildings accurately, and also the perspective accurately, you can then draw the details within those shapes. If you get the perspective wrong, if you get the distance between the buildings wrong, all those will affect the details that you draw later. So obviously it is very important to get the perspective accurate at the start of the sketch. Now this scene is actually quite detailed, but I have actually used a lot of simplification to make this scene easier to sketch. If I have to sketch all the details, it's going to take me a very long time. So for this sketch, I try to simplify as much as possible. The easiest way to simplify your sketch is to draw the big shapes first, then draw the details. And if you are not sure whether or not to add more details, that is probably the stage where you can stop adding the details. Because if you add even more details, it can make your sketch look overworked and you don't really want that. With an app like Concepts, which features an infinite canvas, there is actually no end to drawing details if you want to continue to add those details. So for the coloring, I have chose a warm color palette of mostly brown, yellow ochre. The brush I'm using for coloring is the chalk brush under the pastel group of brushes. Now this is a paint brush. I like to use this brush because just like pencil, it can create very beautiful textures. And because this is under the pastel group of brushes, when you are drawing or when you are coloring, it will automatically create a new layer just for this brush. So all the colors are beneath the line art. And if I need to switch to the pencil brush for drawing again, the layer will automatically switch to the pencil layer for me to draw. Notice I have used very big shapes of colors for painting, and I'm not very particular about keeping the colors within the lines. So this will also create the more sketchy look. And I have added the white lines with the soft pencil brush and added additional details for the shadow areas or the shaded areas. 
And this sketch is almost done. I took around 40 minutes to sketch this. Now if I have added more details, this will probably take me one and a half hours. And I think the level of details is good enough for a sketch like this. If you look at the building in the background, you will notice there isn't much details. The windows are represented with vertical lines and the people on the street are represented with smudges of soft pencil. Alright, if you guys want to learn more about urban sketching with digital or traditional media, check out the many free tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel and also consider supporting me on Patreon to get access to the full-length tutorials that I have created for my patrons over the years. Thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye.